Truth here alongside with Edwin. What's up, Edwin? Hey, what's up, man? So, oh, new OTS champion, huh? Yeah. Uh, OTS champion. What was, uh, what are you wearing? X1? X... Uh, I was, uh, at the end of Swiss, I was 3-1-1. So, one loss, one draw. One loss, one draw, and you still yeah. won. Jesus. And yeah. matchups were hard? Uh, matchups were kind of, they were kind of all right. Um, they're not too bad, not too crazy, but there was some, some stuff I had to look out for that I wasn't prepared for, so I had to adapt. And what you going with? So uh, for this OTS Championship tournament, I went with um, over-reliable Tenpai. Tenpai! Tenpai! <laughs> yeah, okay, okay, all right, yeah. all right. And um, this is slightly different from the profile you gave me. Yeah, it's slightly different. I had to change it up a little. Um, I didn't know what I was gonna see, so I kind of had to be a little bit more uh, general with it since the last deck profile was more towards uh, GC, more catered towards that local. So, all right, so let's get straight to it then. Yeah, man. man. Let's see, let's see. All right, so main deck is 41 this time. 41. 41. Um, so, nothing really changes about the ratio. I mean, I made one little change, just obviously three Pydras, mm -hmm. three Chandras, the best starters. Yep. Um, for this tournament, I decided to play two Fadros because. I didn't want to be put in a position where I shifted someone or and end up like losing my own Fadra. So decided to just play two this time. Um, play two Genrokus. Um, I actually think that I might cut them to one because um, it does limit your abilities and your plays and your lines because it does lock you into dragons. And you don't want to be caught in a situation where you know you lock yourself just, you know. Makes sense, okay. Honorary Tenpai. <laughs> Tenpai Magnumut. Tenpai Magnumut. Yeah, play on turn zero, full combo. Okay. Yeah, so. Fair enough. Uh, obviously, three Kaiman mm -hmm. and four Sangin Summonings, one four. Terraforming, obviously. Oh. <laughs> so no, wonder, no wonder you want it, bro. <laughs> yeah. You know, this, this is never going to change. You know, hopefully, you know, Konami, TCG doesn't hit time into one. Um, yeah. If they follow OCG banlist and hit something to one, it's all right, you know, it sucks, but we can get through it. But hitting Kaiman also to one will definitely change the deck a lot. Okay. Yeah. Um, prosperity. prosperity, obviously max consistency. If, this, if they also hit this to one, I don't even know what to do anymore. Nah, I don't think so. <laughs> yeah, so um, just like the old deck profile, I decided to do a mix of hand traps and board breakers. Um, just cause um, board breakers are just too good. Too good you just yeah. turn off your brain, just activate it. <laughs> turn off your brain. When yeah. you're tired, just, you know. Yeah, it's, you know, I don't want to think too much. I just want to just get rid of everything and just That's go on with it. 2024. Yeah. Unfortunately. So yeah, I played through Red Gecky. That didn't change. Two Dark Holes. That didn't change. I, I like to- you had three. No, I've, I played two. Um, I just don't want to see it too often because I don't want to be put in a position where like- That's all you draw. I draw dark holes and I have to blow my own board. Like, okay. yeah. Uh, this time I played two lightning storms and one harpies because I'm scared of back row. I don't know what, I'm scared of back row. <laughs> uh, and then for the hand trap portion, um, one call by because you know, you, you still lose you still to one play. hand trap. Yeah. Kind of have to. Uh, MVP of the tournament, D Shifter. You think they're gonna hit it? No, they can't. They, go. they, they cannot hit it. They can't hit it. I'm sorry. It just can't be hit. It's, it's just not. No, they can't hit it. Uh, three Perulia. I actually wanted to cut this because most of the times I don't really draw too many cards from it. You know, the least is just one card to replace itself. So. But I just felt, you know, I had to be safe just because I don't know what I'm going to see. I might see Sprite, I might see decks that, you know, summon a lot from hand. So I like to just put them in anyways. It's only from the hand, right? Yeah, if you're normal or special from the hand, you draw a card. And if you activate two, you draw two cards. Uh, I decided to play two nibs. Um, I didn't want to, s I, I wanted to have a hand trap for combo decks besides Shifter. Just, and also just to cash them off guard because no one really thinks that people play, play. shift uh, play nib yeah. in the main. Um, I, did it I don't think I don't think I actually resolved it. And if and I did resolve it, I got cross out, so it didn't matter, unfortunately. 
but at least it put them on their toes. And then three in perms, obviously, because it's the best hand trap. Um, that's not a monster. You don't want to play into talents. No, that's true. Yeah, so. Yep, 41. Damn, you didn't, you didn't, you didn't know Ash, right? Uh, it's in the side. Oh, <laughs> I just realized. I was like, no Ash. Um, so the extra deck, obviously, Samurai Destroyer for U Bell. I expected a lot of U Bell, but I only played w one U Bell. I think there were like maybe two or three. Um, so yeah. Um, Queen Bell, because that is like the most basic line to OTK under Shifter. You just summon out, you know, Chandra and another uh, small dragon. You make this and you pop uh, the fuel spell. That's 82,000. Wow. Oh, no, 8200. 8, wow. 8200. <laughs> 8200. So yeah. And then obviously, um, last resort, blow up the board. Okay. That doesn't change. Those are sevens. Yeah, oh, we got mo one more seven. Oh. Got Meteor Burst uh, for Mirror Match, for just no, annoying, okay. just annoying pesky stuff like Spirit of Yubel, just like, hey, just make this. They can't summon it from their hand. Um, two Bidens, Transcendent, Ask a Friend. That's never gonna change. This is just mandatory. If you're not playing this, you're, you're a yeah. bozo. <laughs> I'd like to play Ready Rose, um, just cause like, if you can't OTK for some reason, um, you can just banish everything in the graveyard and just deplete the resources if they try to recur it. Just... It also has a secret effect if uh, your opponent activates a card or effect that the destroys a monster yeah. or destroys a card. You can just tribute it and just negate it. And you can special a Black Rose from Graveyard or Extra Deck. And the fact that you are playing Black Rose, yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, so the links, I decided to play link package because I don't want to lose the D shifter. I'm mean, not D shift. Uh, D barrier. Two seals um, for the grind game. Um, they never expect the second seals. I think I made a second seals, and they were just like, "Whoa, <laughs> what?" <laughs> so, yeah, Hida, Princess, uh, Raging, and Zelantis for the OTK line. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Pretty standard, I would say. Nothing crazy. Then for the spice, I think the side deck, I changed up my side deck just cause I wanted to be more general to kind of cover stuff that, you know, the deck that I usually have don't cover. Obviously this is mandatory. It's great against you, Bell. Any light, dark, branded, shut their turn off. And all you gotta do is reveal a dragon, right? Yeah, at the end phase, you just gotta reveal a dragon in your hand and you just, it stays, it stays there. there. Yeah, okay. And then if they try to crash into it in battle phase, you're not, you're not doing that. <laughs> I'm not letting you do that. <laughs> uh, so I decided to play two Kurikawas, um, cause it's just another form of board breaker that doesn't really, that they can't respond to. Um, and U Bell's kind of float. It's, it's There's good. a lot of floating, so it's just like, nah, just I don't want to deal with it. <laughs> just get rid of it. And then at the end phase, I just take one of your monsters, and it's mine now. It's yours. <laughs> Three ashes in the side, cause ash is great. Yeah. And you, I don't really want to main it and give Snake Eyes an extender for Hito, so yeah. <laughs> uh, I fix your time rules, Konami. <laughs> <laughs> fix your time rules. I didn't want to play it, but just cause it's like a tournament setting, I kind of had to. And it did. And, yeah, I'm and sure it forced. It helped. Yeah. Um. I actually did not resolve it. <laughs> not once did I resolve it. There are, there are only two matches that I went into time with. I did draw this against Yubel, which I eventually drew, but um, time was called on my turn, so I didn't get to resolve it. Um, I don't think it would have mattered anyway. Um, but it does put you in a, your opponent in a game state where they have to, they're forced to either Kill let you win. win or let you win. Cause like, you better summon something or I'm going to kill you next turn. <laughs> Three Cosmics, obviously. Uh -huh. I'm scared of back row. Back row. Yeah. Skill Drain is a card. I hate Skill Drain. <laughs> that ruins I everything. Got... <laughs> That's you. Yeah. I think I got Skill Drain maybe once or twice. I where, I, by Whitewoods. No, there was definitely, there were a lot of white forest players. Um, I never really had the cosmic, I always just popped it with Biden Dragon during like the end phase or something, or I bounced it with seals. So yeah, skill training is not really an issue unless I 
You don't, don't have the out. I don't have the out, but usually I play like I play optimally where I get rid of it anyway. Okay. Um, rivalry. I don't think I ever sighted this once or resolved this. I my game just ended like two zero. I just I just didn't need it. <laughs> it's not a grind deck. Yeah, and then two solemns obviously to protect whatever. Yeah. Sorry. You good? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, two solemn judgments just for generic negation. With the cost of half my life, but that's nothing. I'll just OTK you anyway. <laughs> it sounds like you're gonna do some changes on your side deck. Oh yeah, I'm definitely gonna change it up a little bit. Um, yeah, I think my matchups were pretty favorable um, against my deck. I didn't really play too much um, super meta like Fiendsmith, Snake Eyes. I played like one person, but we ended up going to time. In game two, which was kind of surprising, we didn't even know. But and that was your draw. No, I I won that game. Oh, you won it. Yeah, okay. round five was the draw against the Ubel player, where okay. I it was my turn, but time was called, and I had Dogwood in hand. But it didn't really matter because I I still made it into top cut. And my top cut matches, top eight matches, I played against White Forest round one against my boy. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, Josh. <laughs> I shifted him twice, so I guess. My Ooh. bad. My Damn. bad. It'd be like that. Yeah, bro, I got sacked, bro. It is what it is. <laughs> it had to be one of us. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, top four, I played against Maldoche, and I, I, I shifted him, and he. That was it, yeah. That's... I too old him, and we're shifter. And then uh, for finals, uh, I was supposed to play Centurion, but. He didn't really get to play. <laughs> he didn't really didn't get to play at all. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, OTS champion. There you go. Congratulations. Yeah. Thank you, man. Thank you. And uh, yeah, definitely, definitely. Yeah. All right. Uh, any shoutouts? Oh yeah, definitely. Uh, first and foremost, shoutouts to Hyde and Zenos for hosting the OTS tournament. Um, you know, it's kind of sad that they're moving to a different venue. It's mm -hmm. my first locals. A lot of great memories here. Yes. I uh, made a lot of friends here, so it's going to be a little bit sad. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be a little bit sad. Uh, obviously, uh, shout outs to the Team Discord, mm -hmm. the boys. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, don't f*** <laughs> at me. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, yeah, every for all the homies, Josh, Deshaun, Kenji, everyone, James, everyone who's Basically, how me got better. I think he's the only one that actually shout out everybody by name. Everybody else is like, yeah, shout out to you know, that's it. <laughs> the homies. The homies. Shout, shout out, out to everybody. the core homies who yeah. played yeah. every day <laughs> and made me cry. <laughs> and made you become champion with all the practice. And, yeah, honestly, yeah. I mean, I've been grinding for like a month straight, so hey. You we're here. here. Anyway, yeah. guys, are you guys having that with Evan's uh, OTS champion champion deck profile with Tampa? Thank you for watching. Thank you to them. We both hope to see you at the next video. Later. <laughs>